sitting in this auditorium has got a story to tell. Yours may be different from mine, but you've got a story. But my prayer for you this morning, that as my story change, and today I can talk about it, with joy and with gladness, yours will also change. But I want to welcome you to the time of dancing. The time of changing of attitude. In the midst of our trouble, God made a serious request from me declare my power. He said, tell the people what you have always said. Bring people to the saving grace. That has been your passion. Your passion. Keep doing it. And I went ahead to do it in tears. Telling people that there is none like this God. He can heal. He can deliver. He can save. He can justify. And every evening I will gather the women. And I will be preaching and telling them how great is this God. And Pastor Prince was doing what he knows how best to do. To worship God. And as the Lord looks at the worship. And saw my service. The Lord said I am a healer. I will step in and heal. This morning God is here to heal. God is here to save. God is here to deliver. God is here to encourage our heart. Praise does not make sense in the time of disappointment. And it doesn't make sense in the time of scarcity. See, when I look for olive tree, it was not bearing fruit. I look for the, my chamber, my chamber was not producing scarcity and lack. But he took the weapon of praise. And what did he achieve? He acknowledged the power of God that can change things. Number two, he acknowledged the sovereignty of God that can overrule every, every other thing. Number three, he knows the situation and circumstances can change. But God remains unchangeable. Number four, he was not practicing positive thinking that shows the door of realities. He knew for sure I have a problem. You see, the problem with us is that we use positive thinking to live a, deceptive, a deceitful life. Oh, are you okay? I am okay, it is well. Meanwhile, things are not well. God wants us to come the way we are. Be realistic. Yes, I have a problem. And some of us are not able to even share our problems. God understands. But this morning, if we can say, I started with a burden. I almost ended with a burden. But I came to the service of today, and I decided not to end with a burden. I will end like Habakkuk. Habakkuk said, I know this God. He will strengthen me. He will make me to walk on my high places. I will worship him. I will continue serving without reservation. I will continue to praise him. Irrespective of all the weaknesses of this year and all the disappointments I have encountered, I will take the right attitude to rejoice and refuse moodiness and refuse to carry burdens that are not mine and refuse to allow the devil make you sad for nothing, for nothing that is relevant. You become sad about it. The devil is robbing you of the joy that you need to enter into. Bow down your heads. Let's pray. Have you been to Jesus for the clean simple? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless and white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed? Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? In the blood? In the soul? Cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless and white as snow? One more time. Have you been to Jesus? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing? Jesus is here to change your situation, to change your life. Oh, surrender to Him this morning. I am spotless. And I am Are you washed? In the light of the
cleansing blood of the Lamb. I your garments spotless are they white as snow. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, with every heart bow to the Lord this morning. With every soul surrendering to the Lord this morning. Oh, with your hearts connected with God. With your hearts connected with God. With your hearts connected with God. God is here calling on you. Jesus is stretching his hands. The Holy Spirit is brooding over this auditorium. Oh, this I did for you. I laid my life for you. I laid my life for you. I gave you my best. I need your best back. I need you back right now. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, have your way. You are here to heal the hearts that are broken. You are the balm of Gilead. You are taking away our burdens. You are here and you are saying... I am the strength of your life. I am the joy of your soul. I am bigger than fig trees. I am bigger than olive orchards. I am bigger than the cattle upon a thousand hills. I am bigger than your rent. I am bigger than your sick. I am bigger than everything around you. Surrender to me this morning. Allow me to be God in your life. Just give him your heart. Just give him your life. He is here to take control. If you're here this morning and you need to make peace with the Prince of Peace, you need to discover the forgiveness of God. You need to discover the pardon and the justification. You need to have a relationship of salvation with God. You need to be a child of God and give your heart to him. And be called the one that he takes care of. His hands are stretched towards us in this church. And I want to beg you, if you need that pardon from him to be born again, all you need is to stretch your hands towards where his hands are. Just lift your hands up. Your right hand, raise it up towards him. God bless you, sir. Raise that hand up very well towards him. Tell him, here I am, here I am, here I am. Here I am, forgive me, Jesus. Here I am, take over. Take over, take over. I am here and I'm asking you to take over. Anyone else that is here asking Jesus, take over. Forgive me, make me the Lord, make yourself the Lord of my soul. I want to be your child. Stretch that hand towards him and you will get hold of that hand. Let the usherness to that man bring him to me in this place. And I need to pray with you and to stand with you in prayer. Please come. Jesus loves you. Come. Yes, thank you for coming. Come. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. One day, he will call me by my name. Gentlemen, you are welcome. The man of God will lead you to Christ in one minute. And if you are still seated in the auditorium and you need to join these two men here, you are free before we pray for them as this song is sung once. 
Are you an usher? Reception, okay. All right. One day, Jesus. Those of us who know the Lord, where you are, just begin to ask the Lord to forgive all your complaints and murmurings. Or you are getting annoyed for nothing, picking offenses at things that are irrelevant and blocking the way of God in your life. Just begin to ask the Lord to forgive you and bring you to the point of brokenness like he did for Habakkuk that you may worship in spirit and in truth. One day Jesus will call my name as days go by I hope I don't stay there I wanna get so close I wanna get so close So close to seat if you're here and you're still angry with God your story is not that you used to be angry the way I was angry for a few hours or days and pastor was angry for a month but you are still angry with God even as you're in this service and you're saying God I'm angry with you I want you to stand up so that we help you the way God helped us just stand I want to pray with you you're angry, you are saying, God, I, things are, I am not understanding what's going on in my life, and I'm truly angry. Just stand up. Yes. The Bible says that when you are honest, you will obtain mercy. You will obtain mercy. But when you want to feel like other people, mercy will bypass you. You are telling God, I'm really angry. I don't really understand this. I'm angry. God is here, and you have seen the drama. We just need the mercy of God in the church today so that your praise can flow well. Lift up your hands before the Lord. Raise it up. If you're sitting down, don't raise that hand up. I said if you are angry, you stand up. Yes. So those of you that are standing up, you say these prayers after me. Father, this afternoon, I come with humility and total submission to your will. Have mercy on me. Forgive me. Forgive my complaints. Forgive my bitterness. Forgive my anger. Forgive my murmuring. From now, I receive grace from you to rejoice, to worship you, to exalt you, to magnify you, to adore you, to glorify you to lift you on high for who you are. Thank you, for I am free from this burden. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, give him a round of applause as I pray for you. Keep standing. Father, with the same mercy and grace we received some years ago, that same grace and mercy and release upon these people, they were angry because they had reason. But because you are God. Father, this morning, this afternoon rather, as a family, we ask for forgiveness. And as they have confessed and they are willing to cooperate with your power, God, as we go into the time of praising you and worshiping you, let exactly what we saw in the playlet begin to happen to every worshiper in this meeting. That everyone we go home today being escorted by the power of God from on high. Thank you for these ones. Let your healing begin. Let your restoration begin. Let your power be at work in our lives. Let your glory come down in this sanctuary. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Give him a round of applause, church. Amen. Now, everyone, kindly, with every due respect, if you wouldn't mind, stand up. 
Even if you're paying anywhere, please stand. If you have never worshipped God, please stand. Yesterday, our father was talking about David at the, uh, uh, at the stadium. And he talked about one of the reasons why God gave that man rest on every side. Was because he worshipped with every humility until his wife even felt he was a mad guy. This afternoon, we have exactly five minutes. I want you to forget who you are. I want you to forget the challenges you have. I want you to forget what you have not achieved this year.